Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0. In the last episode, we got uh, Phase 2 stuff almost done. I realized I mathed wrong a little bit on the amount of steel I needed, so I went on a little exploration kick, as I am wont to do in this run so far. It's just so handy to have Summer Sloops and Mercer Sloops. And so I now have uh, put everything in dimensional depots, I think. Everything useful. And I still have three more spheres, which means the next few things I make, I can put in dimensional depots without needing uh, to go fetch more spheres. And I got some summer sloops. So what I did, because we need an absurd amount of steel, what I went ahead and did was... Let me get up here. Can I get up there? Oh, no. I wanted to get all the way up. We went and summer slooped our steel production and our steel beam production. So I've got one foundry massively overclocked to to run on. And it, foundries need two summer sloops, which is worth pointing out. So it's only on 75 of each a minute, but making 150 steel. And then that 150 steel is making 75 steel beams instead of 37 and a half. So we're getting four times as many steel beams for the iron and coal input. Although this takes, you know, 125 megawatts. It's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. But yeah, I should have, okay, sweet. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's enough. Uh, I needed 1200 for the 1000. Or 1200. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Is that right? Why can't I remember how much the versatile frameworks need? I've looked at this five times. Versatile framework. We need six for each. So I would need 6,000, but I'm doubling the productivity. So I need three for each. So instead of 6,000, I need 3,000. Okay, yeah, see, we still need a ton. That's, I had the numbers all wrong. But we're at least getting closer now. Um, did I do the modular frame calculations correctly, at least? Um, go back to versatile framework here. Yeah, I sh so I would only need 500 normally, but I have 250. So I think I have enough modular frames. We'll just grab one more stack in case I didn't. Um, and plop that in there. So we definitely have enough modular frames. 50, 50, 50, 150. Uh, oops. Okay, that'll do it. I don't want screws to be on this belt. There we go. Anyway, so that'll get done while we are working on the next thing, which is quartz. I want to bring in quartz. We need to automate uh, quartz crystals so we can do windows. That's pretty important for aesthetics. And I'm going to go ahead and set up a truck route. So we may not be able to make tractors, though, without motors. No, I can. Um, automating motors is pretty high on the list, but I don't need them yet. So we're going to make a truck station down here. Uh, and I was looking at the map. It seems like that'll be a decent road to drive over to the courts kind of around this way rather than trying to work through all this terrain i think that's a better way to do it so i will go ahead and set up um some foundations here on the global grid not that it needs to be on the global grid i just feel like it we need. No, oh, build it there. Thank you. Okay. Truck station. I want it pretty accessible. Something like that. There we go. Fix it reminds you to drive vehicles accurately through a truck station's dock area while recording a path. This ensures it will connect properly once everything is automated. The truck station can be set to load or unload, and can also refuel vehicles. Unlike some pioneers, truck stations care about saving humanity. <laughs> wow, 
The passive aggressiveness is through the roof, Ada. Come on now, I'm trying. I care about saving humanity. Don't be like that. Why can't I build these? Huh. Do I have to build the foundation underneath them before I can build the ramp there? Yeah, Ada is, is merciless. All right, and then we have corner ramps, right? No, I don't have corner ramps yet. Dang it. I need to unlock. I need to unlock those. All right. Uh, I think I can maybe unlock corner ramps. Uh, I might need to turn a lot of my animal megafauna into DNA capsules. How much do I have, by the way, of everything? I have 50 hog remains? Yeah, I'll turn 25 of those into tickets. Hogs are just so easy to take out with the shatter rebar. Even the, even the big boys only take so many shots. All right, so we do that, then we make DNA capsules. And I think we're getting to the point where I'm gonna start making um, smelting areas where I like will smelt multiple belts of iron into iron ingots and then belt that to somewhere else in the factory. Rather than always doing, I don't know, it still feels pretty efficient though to always do the smelting where I need it. Uh, and then I just take ore to multiple places. I don't know, I can see it both ways. I can still see it both ways. Um, Cause the nice way about the way that I'm doing it now is like, I can just take these modular frames and throw them in the awesome sink to get some, some extra points because those are extra. Yeah, look at all those points. All right, seven more coupons. And then we want foundations, corner ramp pack, purchased. Sweet. So now, I want up corner, whoa. I did not mean to search, I meant to click. There we go, up corner ramp two meter. Look at that, beautiful. So now trucks will be able to get here with ease. And how does, there's two ins and two outs. That's nice, it used to only be one. Um, this is the unload, and we need coal over here, and coal is not close, unfortunately. Um, I think I'm going to arrange some stackables, because I, I feel like we're going to have multiple resources that we're going to need when I'm traveling around the base, and so... Put some stackables going through the base. Kind of around this side here. <laughs> yeah, I need a second truck route to get coal, exactly. Um. This one is coal, I think. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's right. Uh, it looks like coal to my eyes. Yeah, that's coal. All right, so then that comes over here. We 
gotta go up and over all this stuff. And then the nice thing about the way that I've set this up is we'll be able to bring back um, bring back all the items on the same set of stackable poles. And so that'll be easy to line up and it'll look nice. So, you know, you get the best of both worlds. All right. That should be a pretty small uh, overall uh, fuel cot. Why is that not filling up? Oh, do I need to power it up? Probably. Before it can even fill with fuel. Yeah, there we go. Sweet! Okay. So, now I just need to kind of... Let me drive the route just to see what it is. Go this way. Can I go through this tree? I don't think I can. Nope. The truck might be able to. Excuse me. Just yeet him out of the way, and then... Okay, so we go around and then to the right. Going straight for a bit here. Over. Can I blow all those bumpies up? What is. Oh, water! I forgot you can get water from these kinds of deposits. Okay, so I am gonna wanna go around. Alright, hold on, hold on. We're gonna wanna go around all that. We gotta get rid of you guys. But I need my chainsaw to get rid of these things. Yeah, we'll go around this way. So the water's not in the way. I think the truck might be able to go through those little trees. I'm uh, excited to find out. But then we'll chop this up. Again, the truck might have been able to go through those. Can I just craft a truck right now to find out? Uh, maybe. I can, yeah. Tractors can use any type of fuel and have a self-driving feature, much like what Pioneers, the? only more reliable. While driving, mm -hmm. you can record a path to automate vehicle resource transportation. Yes, yes, yes. Unlike That's early self-driving vehicles, tractors will not spy on you. Your employee oh data is already fully subject to other means of surveillance. Die. All right. So, if you're driving the tractor, can you drive through these things? Or are these no-goes? They are no-goes. Okay, got it. What about these trees? The small but chainsaw trees. Oh, can't destroy them. Wow. Okay, so anything that you need the chainsaw for, you cannot destroy with the tractor. Good to know. Alright, so this is my route. And then this is where we turn up. I should probably chainsaw that thing. It's not really in the way, but... Alright, so then we're up here. We're past the big mushroom. And what are we looking at? I think the pure one is on the left, and that's the one I'm going to try to tap first. It's that one. If I could drive over this bumpy area, 
Come through here. Why don't I start popping power poles next to the route? So that way I can know where we're driving. I think I can drive through here. Kill the giant spider. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Oh, mid-air collision. All right, get out of here. God, those things are scary. They move so fast for their size. It's just disturbing. Right there? Yeah, it's right up here. Perfect. Perfect. Aha, yes, we have found all of our portable miners. Um, whoops. Grab all these guys. Mark II Miner. Ah, we need EIBs. EIBIO. When are nuclear armaments available? I can't... I forget. Isn't there a nuclear novelisk? I can't remember. There's certainly a cluster novelisk, which is in the right direction. If there's not an actual nuclear one. Alright, so this is a pure quartz vein, so that's 240 a minute. Um, we'll kind of come off of this little ledge here, because I feel like this could be a good... Actually... You know, I think I can just drive, instead of into that area, I can drive into this area. Yeah. I think this is the spot. This is the spot uh, for foundations. up here, truck stop, will be like so, I guess we need room to turn around, this might get in the way, this is not choppable is it, oh it is, oh I just literally ran out of fuel, okay, um, Bit of biofuel. Let's make 40. Yeah, I also, once I have, I guess I sort of have sulfur automated, so by using sulfur and coal, we could make um, black powder to make the gun. Or no, I needed plastic, I think, for the next research. Or sulfur stuff. Yeah. We need plastic. Okay, anyway, can I actually chop this down? It looks like I can. Nice. Alright, well, that was a big one. So then... This should give us room to turn around. Oh, made a hole. All right. Um, I'm just gonna do foundation four meter vertical. Uh, just to kind of do like a support here or there so it doesn't look like it's floating because that is important to me in this playthrough and then bring the quartz in our action
Yeah, we'll just go around this way. Okay. There probably are other directions we could have we could have shortcutted the power connection, but I like having wait a second. Where was I? I drove down here? I guess I did. I don't remember the poison. Did I drive through poison? I guess I did. I didn't really notice it. I am running out of gas masks. these where the truck is not gonna have to go yay all right i'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording while i set up the rest of this power line and everything and i'll be back all right youtube from the future we're back we got the quartz miner set up uh we've got the power connected all the way home and we got our tractor so we're gonna record the path um i think this is set to load yes perfect so, open record menu. Start recording. And then I think we just drive, right? It's helpful if you don't run into things. Um... Do we, do we have to do the full loop or can we just do half of it? I can't remember. They've changed how this all works. Wow, it slides sideways pretty heavily on this uh, hill here. Does it mean the truck will drive into the power pole on every trip? I hope so. <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> that would be amazing. Just a, a monument to my to my failure. It's a testament forever. All right, so we'll drive over here. Drive through. Like, will it automatically stop? You know, to, to unload for the right amount of time? Or do I have to hit the F key there? Like, if I hadn't hit F, would it know to stop there? I don't, I don't actually know. Right. And I will just try to follow the exact same path backwards. means I can build other stuff, you know, I have a smaller chance of messing with the, the tractor if I follow the same path. Okay, run through here. Oh, hello, Mr. Spitter. Time we won't run into a power pole, maybe. <laughs> Look, you you can just ignore those little blue things on the left. Those don't mean anything. Those don't mean anything. Okay. You can now save your path and load it into other vehicles. So save path. Uh, quartz one. So now I should be able to open record menu and enable autopilot. And hop out. And you're just gonna do your thing? Maybe? Yes. Yes. Do your thing. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Uh oh. I thought it was just going to yeet itself off the side there, but it didn't. Are you going to drive into the power pole? Uh, 
Are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna run me over. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it had to fix itself. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was- I was gonna get a picture. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. That was so good. <laughs> oh, man. It was really trying to climb up on that power pole. It's nice that we can ride on it. Free ride back. seeing those pale berries and for a, a, a brief moment I think it's a summer sloop and get excited but then I'm like why would a summer sloop be right there did it pick up any quartz I have no idea. nope not yet I think it might on the next trip if it doesn't pick up quartz on the next trip we got a problem I also need to switch out the fuel for coal but I can do that when we when we get back here How many slots does it have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It has 25 slots. So, if it can complete a round trip every like 3 minutes, then that's like 8 slots a minute, which is like 800 a minute potential. That's pretty good. So we switched out the fuel for coal. And now let's see if it actually picks up quartz. We can scan for fun things on the way. There's a power slug over there somewhere. Oh! <laughs> Found it! Found it! Alright, now can we catch back up? We can. We can shortcut a little bit here. But it's going downhill, so it's got the advantage. It's got wheels and we don't. I think I'm slightly faster, so we got this. We can cut through the water fields. <laughs> no, no, we got this. We got this, Bale. Here we go. Oh, especially when it gets stuck on rocks. I didn't do that. I just drove a little too close to the rocks, apparently. Oh no. Now oh, what are you doing? Oh, we got fixed. Oh god. Uh, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> this is... This is, uh, there we go. There's the screenshot for the episode. Um, this is kind of funny. It keeps getting stuck. Now where did it go? Oh, it's back over here now. Okay. Ugh, can't slide jump up hills. I just, uh, got ragdolled. Well, at least it does that now. It used to actually get stuck, like, forever. And that was very problematic. For, you know, it properly, you know, moving resources around. So now it does... Okay, good. It got loaded up. Sweet. So now, like, the nice thing is, even if it gets stuck, it's going to properly get you your resources if it gets stuck for too long, it just kind of magically follows its path. I think that was a good change they made because it was really frustrating to have your trucks run properly for hours and then all of a sudden they're not working. And we're just going to ignore what it's doing over here. Uh, nothing to see there, folks. And we'll run back home with our quartz line running. We could time it. It feels like it's about three minutes. 
Uh, maybe four. How many minutes would it need to be to not give me the full belt? So the belt is 240 a minute, and I'm doing 25 stacks. So it could take a little over 10 minutes, and I would still get all of the quartz. So we're, we're not going to have any throughput issues, is what that means. Um, and there's two more quartz nodes there. There's a pure, an impure, and a normal. And if I overclock, then we can get all kinds of... We, we will not need any more quartz for a long time. Um, we can always put a second truck on the route if we end up needing that much throughput with like, you know, Mark six belts or whatever. So that's good. We got quartz and I need to automate silica and quartz crystals. Let me rebar gun. I would like your fluffy tailed hog remains. No! Caught up. Come here. Come here, boy. Ugh, got it. Uh, do mines run out? No, they do not. Ores are infinite. Um, I think it's the only way you can do a limited map, right? It's not an infinite map, so you have to have infinite resources. Um, if, if things could run out, then you would need ways to cr either create new ones or recharge old ones. Otherwise, you would run into problems. But, uh, but yeah, okay, so our output here, um, why don't I start with this and someday I might have a second. You know, it could be cool. I guess you just have a different station for each, um, Resource. I was gonna say it could be cool if you could like filter slots so you could have two different trucks delivering to the same one And then one one resource could come out of one one could come out of the other But I don't I don't think it's actually that important to do something like that um, But Yeah, so now we'll have the courts following the same path that the coal followed Get it built Sweet. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna remove the blueprint designer. Oh, I have stuff inside of it, it won't let me. It will not let me. All right, I need a jump pad over here uh, that can get me, get me up there. Is that about the right angle? Yeah, that's the right angle. I think that'll get me up. up. I guess we'll find out. And connect over here. Send me. Yeah, that worked. Wait, there's poison. What? I worked hard make sure there wasn't nothing left okay well if it's it must be on the top wait a second there's nothing here hmm is that like some weird graphic that's attached to the the location on the map instead of being attached I wonder if I save and load the game if those disappear. That that feels more like a glitch than uh Yeah, that I think that's a glitch. I'm calling it a glitch. Alright. I do like the blueprint designer, but I don't want it here long term. So we're gonna clear it. And we're gonna get rid of this thing. And then Quartz. A 
Quartz is a quartz of quartz of quartz. How about... Do this. And then... Coal goes in... Two... Quartz goes back. There we go. And then we'll do a wall conveyor. I'll probably end up with more materials coming this way, so I'll do a second one as well. And there we go. I'm in. I'm in. Pack the mainframe. Perfect. So, what do we need with quartz? We need constructors to make... By the way, this is a random question. How do I open this? Is there a hotkey for this? I don't know my hotkeys, apparently. Uh, codex. O. O is how we get to that. So if I do O and then look at quartz. So constructors. We can make silica and crystals. I don't know how many constructors I need. So I'm just going to go with... Also, is there a blueprints button? While we're looking at hotkeys. Can you just open straight to blueprints? build blueprint that would be nice if there was there could be still and I'm missing it but I'm not seeing it Constructors X2. I don't know, I'll build three of these probably. Still, I'm not entirely clear the difference between default and blueprint. Uh, if anybody knows, let me know. Because you can already snap by holding control, even in default mode. I don't know what blueprint mode changes. Yeah, I'm not really sure. All right, we'll just get a set of constructors here. do mostly silica. We'll do four on silica. And then two on quartz crystal. And then they're already all hooked up. It's so nice. I just gotta connect these guys. And then connect to some wall power perks of being a wall power. It's like a movie movie title. Um, and then you can connect down there. Alright. Now the inputs can be shared amongst sets of two. The outputs cannot. This one will turn. That one will go that way. 
And now I can do my storage container. We have dimensional depot on. that hard to change that one piece of the blueprint so that is something if any of you guys watch my factor y series um it uses a very cool module system which are blueprints basically and they're kind of like black boxes like it simulates the production and consumption of that whole set of things but it doesn't actually simulate all the individual things anymore it treats it like one big building or one big assembler basically but the problem is, if you wanted to output on a slightly different square, or if you wanted to tweak just a little bit of it, you can't do that. So, you know, this is not a black box simulation, so it won't save any of my computer from bursting into flames when I build a big factory, but it is nice to be able to just modify little pieces of that so you don't feel like you need separate blueprints for things. But, uh... But yeah, I don't think I need to overclock or do anything with these. That should be all the quartz basic quartz stuff that I need. Um, with silica and quartz, now I can build glass and whatnots, which is sweet. So we can take quartz off the list. And I can also take those off the list because they are done. I just need to feed more steel. What did I do to break this, by the way? Oh, um, what did I, oh, I had t slightly too much wiring. Uh, is it going to let me grab that? Probably not. Okay, there we go. That'll save me some, uh, some hassle. And then I think I would like to... I feel like they're going to be worth an absurd amount of points. <laughs> these these smart wirings. I'm curious. Can you place items directly in? No, you can't. Quick, chase. What do we get? 38,000 down to 35,000. So they're almost like 1,500 a piece. That's pretty good. Okay, and that should now resume production of versatile framework. And I forget the number again. I think it was 6,000 that we needed total of steel beams. I think it was 6,000. It's 25, we need triple the amount, whatever it is. So 3,000, okay. And this is, we're actually probably close. Yeah, we already have a third of what we need and that's 1,000, 2,000. I actually, yeah, I can take a few off. We're already done. Sweet, okay. So phase two is going to be complete here in just however many minutes that's going to take. 25 a minute, 4 minutes per 100, 24, 26 minutes. So yeah, that's not bad at all. So while that is finishing, I shall work on something. Something with silica. That needs motors. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm I'm pretty good. The only thing I could do is the AI limiters for smart splitters. I guess we can do that. Um, so let me grab some caterium and what was the other thing I needed? Copper sheet. 
And then we can research AI limiters. And then I need 10 AI limiters. Research completed. AI limiter recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. I don't remember the difference between a smart splitter and a programmable splitter. I think a smart splitter can only do priorities and a programmable splitter can actually filter. Is that how it works? I am a bit foggy on that. Um, what am I doing? I can just process the slugs. I do want to put away all the enemy remains. And mycelia, that's right, right, right. Okay, so I wanted to make more filters. So mycelia plus coal is how we make fabric, right? Fabric, no, biomass. Okay, well I have plenty of, plenty of biomass here. So we're gonna make some more gas mask filters. And then we'll process these slugs. Which I have what? 3 plus 8 plus 5. 16 more power shards? I have 28 left, so that feels nice. I love that they now give you the ability to produce power shards in the late game. That's such a big win. Because it means you can truly, like, overclock without fear. I feel like there's always a little bit of that fear, even late game, when you have, like, 400 power shards or whatever, where you're like, yeah, but, like, it's not infinite. And if I just start using them in every random smelter, you know, then you really start to feel like you're going to run out. Okay. So. Where'd you go? Gas filter. This is what needs the coal. All right, this should last me a while. I don't even know what they stack to. But it seems like they at least stack to 50. Okay, and I will get a couple more Nobelisks as well. Down to, where'd they go, seven? You used how far you got into Factorio as a measure of how much satisfactory you'd play. <laughs> so, so you haven't gotten very far in Factorio either. Is that what I'm hearing? I think for me, I have always gotten further in Factorio than satisfactory, but this playthrough is starting to feel a little different. Might as well make a couple more nutritional inhalers while I'm here. Okay, put away all the things. I can trash a single fabric, some random coal, some random reanimated Sam. I can then equip more inhalers, 37 inhalers. That should be enough for a while. Uh, trash some limestone. I can put away the mycelia. This is still some nice power support, so I might as well throw the leaves and wood in there. Clean inventory is a happy inventory. I'll just trash extras on all the primary resources. Sweet. And I, I keep the Mercer Spheres on hand because that's dimensional depots. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, let's unlock. I completely forgot about power towers when we were connecting the power to uh, our outpost. Partially because I don't have EIBs yet, so I guess it's time. Time for the EIB. E-I-B-I-O. Um, I don't know how I fell off. I was holding the mouse button. You get halfway through the tech tree and your mind wanders off to do something else. So you've been most of the way through vanilla, halfway through C-Block, Space Exploration, Crestario. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel that. 
definitely happens to me with a lot of games, so I totally get it. But I have I have made it through a lot more Factorio than most games. Um, one thing in particular that I really like is being in the like even with Greg Tech New Horizons, I got really into it. Even though I only got 200 hours, I still really liked there being a mod pack that had so much to it. See, what is this poison coming out of? Um, so, like, I could see myself getting into a satisfactory mod pack, too, someday. Even if I don't end up beating it. But, yeah, so now we need encased industrial beams. Let's get our blueprint, um... Let's get our blueprint factory going. Let's do... Seven, and then... It is really hard to get this right. It is a little easier if you're off to the side. Come on. Alright. So, I think that's enough space. I'm gonna put the blueprint designer right here. Seven by seven's enough, right? No. Uh, yeah, no, that's enough space. Except for this stupid ass bird. Bruh. You for reals right now? Get. Thank you. Get out of the way. Um. Okay, so it's exactly five by five in size. And then it contains, you know, a 4x4 four four space inside of it. Alright, so now I'm, I'm sitting here wondering, what if? What if we built an entire encased industrial beam blueprint? Like, is that crazy? Or is that awesome? Or is it both? Is it crazy awesome? Um... Because there's that part of me that's like, that could be really cool. So we'd need steel beams. So I'd need foundries. We need three resources, first of all. We need iron, coal, and limestone. Limestone goes to constructors. Comes to beams. And then the other two go to foundries, which go to constructors. And then those two come to uh, assemblers. There's that part of me that's like, this could be, this could be really cool. What if we built, you know, little, little pillars? Wait, oh no. Is it, would, would that count as in the blueprint? Or would that not count? Like, is that technically in or technically out? Um, it is very important that I know the answer to this. Like, if I make a blueprint out of that, it seems like it's working. That does work. Okay. What if... But I don't feel like constructors could get all the way that far out. Interesting. So you have a little bit more room with things that can overlap aesthetically. But, like, is this in? Or this? Like, how far does it actually grab items to be part of the blueprint? Okay, those are not being grabbed. Only those two are. Okay, so that one was in. I assume this would be out, but let's just double check. Uh, that is also out. Okay. 
Good to know. Good to know. The reason is because I might, you know, make pillars to support like a second floor or whatever. If because we're gonna do uh, some sort of build for encased beams here. So I want to know, like, could I build it there? And I could. And we can put foundations on top of that to make a second floor in my blueprint. Anyway, let's see what we would need here. If we wanted one assembler running. Can we even fit that? So one assembler needs 18 a minute and 36 a minute concrete. Concrete is 15 a minute, so that's... You basically need two running concrete and one running steel, but it, those numbers are slightly off, right? Because the steel is only 15, so that's slightly not enough. And the concrete would be 30, which is also slightly not enough. So basically, you would just underclock this to five a minute um, to get the, the ratio of that. Mm. Seems very doable. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, how many a minute does that make? Yeah, five a minute. I think I can run three of these on one blueprint. How tall is a foundry? That's kind of the next question. Um, I want to make sure we get our second floor above that. And I will use one meter foundations here. So we need 12 meters of clearance. It's a little bit too much, but that's okay. And then here's our second floor. assembler fit up there? I need like a, a freaking ladder here. Uh, zoop. Up. So on the top, I will be able to fit three assemblers, yes. If I want to. Okay, so uh, let's see, we said three, con so I would need nine constructors total. And in terms of the steel, I would need like four foundry, or well, three. Oh, I could use this. I forgot about this. This is the perfect place for it. Molded beams. Oh, but I need so much concrete. It's absurd. Maybe this isn't the place for it. Maybe solid steel ingots. But then we need to smelt the iron. Ah, there's so many options. I'm analysis paralysis. Um, let's just do something. That's the way to play. So step one, boundaries with splitters.
solid steel ingots as opposed to gaseous steel ingots? Exactly. Um, I'm trying to figure out, like, if I do something like this. looks so bad. I mean, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I feel like it does. You can't connect stuff in the designer to stuff out of the designer. Okay, fine. Um, okay, so what if I put this over here? Need For once, I need the conveyor pole to actually be the thing I'm building. Uh, let's see. I just want to see if, like, if I can connect. No, it's too short. That's what I was worried about. I need to move the foundry one forwards again for that to fit. Enter. Thinking that's what will confirm it. Okay, that should should work. What? No, I want to build here. Oh, did that like already connect? Hold on here. There we go. Okay, so that does work the way that we want. Perfect. Then we can have two belts in here. There and there. All right, and then we said one foundry. I really should do solid steel ingot, I just, I don't want to deal with it for this blueprint. This is kind of an experiment. Oh god, that takes up so much space. Boundaries are big. Um, so this will be 90 plus 45 is one something a minute. So... I don't think anymore that I can run three assemblers. I might be able to handle two assemblers. Because what was the rate again? The rate is six a minute, which means 18 a minute on steel beams. So th can I do 36 a minute on steel beams? Uh, yes. I can. Because if all three of these are running... What is it? 12.5? No. With that? No. 11.25? There it is. So 11.25 times 3 is 33.75 a little short, um, but that's what we'll do. So then the constructors can go directly in front of foundries. Did it line that up? 
No. Uh, it did with these. No, it didn't. No, it didn't line in. No, it doesn't know what it's doing. Come on. I held control. You're supposed to do the thing. There we go. That's lined up. That's what we want. So that will be, uh, we need to underclock. We said to 11.25. Oh, 75%. I should have gone with the percentage. I knew the percentage. I didn't know the math of the underclock, but I did know the percentage. Okay, so then we've got the steel and now the assemblers can be on the top here. And I also need a lot of concrete. I need four constructors? Ugh. Maybe I should give up on trying to blueprint this. It just would be so nice. But I'm not gonna be able to fit four constructors up there as well, I don't think. Maybe I can smash it all together. Maybe. I can scooch that a little bit over. Hmm. Maybe. How far over can we make this? Have to move it back a couple clicks for a merger on the end. Could do this. A little, a little clippy. Um, but then the constructors making. Constructors making limestone. This is a bit dicey, I think. Uh, but, you know, I just work. As long as we can get the splitters. Here on the end. Okay. Oh god. This is gonna be the issue, isn't it? close. Hang it. Because there's nowhere you can point the mouse to tell it to want to build the belt on the side of the splitter. Yeah. I mean, there's all this space over here, but I don't know. Hmm. Can't really put them that way. Yeah, I'm starting to feel the the size restrictions of four by four by four. 
It's definitely, definitely more for what I already was doing with it than for this sort of thing. This sort of thing gets way harder. Obviously, it's a fun puzzle if you want to, you know, mess with it for a super long time. But I think I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of give up on this encased industrial beam craziness. Oh, no. I just dismantled walls I didn't want to dismantle. Um, and what we're going to do is add a foundry blueprint. We already have our constructor blueprint, our smelter blueprint. So what I'm going to do now is make a foundry blueprint, blueprint and a, um, a, whatchamacallit. So this will be my three foundry blueprint, and then we'll make one for assemblers. And then we can kind of just you know, piece together the things we want to do a little bit easier. So that'll be fine. I will I will settle for that. Put that there. Is this like three stacked on top of each other? I think it actually is. So I'm just gonna do it that way. That works out exactly right. And then goes over, goes over, and I think this works. Oh, does it work? Oh, not when it's not lined up. It doesn't. Both of those are not lined up. That's funny. Okay. You go there. Merger. Okay, I do want to try it, though. Properly. What if I had done it that way? One of that, it's right there. Click, click, click. Yeah, that works. I think it's exactly the same thing. Okay, so that should be. Oh, one more belt connection. So that should be three foundries in a row, and I could keep going with both. Um, I think I'll probably remove these. Maybe that one was okay. Okay, I'll do it like that, and then put the mergers, and we always go back to the left. Left to... Uh-oh. Am I doing the opposite of what I, what I did for the other ones? For my constructors and stuff? No, we come in the back left, and we go out the front left. Yeah. In left, out left. Okay. I want to be consistent. Okay. So there's foundry out. And I feel like a a potential a potential idea that I could see myself doing would be like adding a second floor to something like this where it's really like six foundries, you know, from two inputs um, and using that verticality a little better rather than everything being on a flat floor. But the nicer thing about having everything be flat is then you can have your floors be a little more you not be as tall within the factory. But I could see a world where we stack like three 
foundries on top of three foundries and hook that all together. Um, but yeah, we'll save this as foundries x3. Colors fine, icon. There it is. Directory smelting. Okay. Cool. And phase two is done. So that is what we will be finishing this episode with. And we'll get those encased beams in the next one, I guess. You know, the spaghetti on the ground floor is starting to get a little worse. I may have to do something about that someday. But, space elevator is ready to go. Alright. There we are, phase two completed. Get a screenshot of that. Seal the container. Welcome to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 2 Project Part Shipment is mm -hmm. now ready for delivery. Mm -hmm. On delivery, Phase 2 will be completed and the construction dock will be constructed. After completion of Phase 2, the technologies of Tiers 5 and 6 Jetpack. will become available yes. in the hub. These might feel intimidating after your previous experience, but rest assured that you would not be here if you were entirely incompetent. Highlights are oil production, railway transportation, the jetpack, and many more. Completing phase three of project assembly is your next main objective. Just remember to focus on producing and delivering the project parts and fix its faith in you will be strengthened. All right, here we go. Send it on. goes Ooh. fancy Space elevator elevated. Phase two of project assembly completed. You have been performing more adequately under pressure and are closer than ever to saving the day. I'm great. Perhaps you were the right choice for the job. Time will tell. Time will tell. You will now enter phase three of project assembly. Continue as you are, and there should be no issue. For humanity, for fix it. For fix it. So, I only need 2,500? That's only two and a half times what I already did. Um, I feel that I can just keep my build as is for versatile framework and just let that go. 100 minutes, so 7,500 steel beams. Um, this is about 3,000 and 625 modular frames how many uh modular frames i haven't been doing the right way ah oh, crap okay we need to fix that um and yeah i need to be done with this episode because we're at an hour and 20 minutes already my my friends from the future i don't know how the time flies does that work
think I have enough space there. Go on top. Okay. There we get the frames. Of which... I don't have enough yet, but I only need, like I said, 625. It's not that many. So, not that big of a deal. And... Are these the ones that I'm summer slooping? Oh, I could throw another sloop in there. Right now, I'm only single slooping it. I could get more modular frames for free. I don't think I need them right now, but... Anywho, we'll call it an episode there. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.